Hello, my name is Rajesh Ungurano and I'm at class 10i at ICHB Colentina. This is my PBL for chemistry class, uh, growing borax crystals. As it, this is a rather simple plot project. Uh, I, and I have all the materials here, some pipe cleaners, some thread, some pieces of wood, and the result of them attach all together with a glass jar, some boiling water, and the borax itself. I'm gonna pour in later. Oh, for the first part, I need the boiling water. Now that this is done, I need to put, like, to put in like five cups of borax. And now I need to mash it until it becomes a saturated solution. So I'll put the pipe cleaner that is attached to the small piece of wood inside the jar. So the most important part here is to not touch the walls of the jar so that crystals can form on it. I have to be a little careful. I think it's gonna be okay. Yeah, it looks nice. So now we wait. This is it. Uh, hot water holds more borax crystals than cold water. That's because heated water molecules uh, move far further apart, making room for more of the borax crystals to dissolve. When no more of the solution can be dissolved, you have reached saturation. Um, as uh, this solution cools, the water molecules move closer together again. Now there's less room for the solution to hold on to as much as the dissolved borax. Um, crystals begin to form and build on one another as the water lets go of the excesses and evaporates. This is what he meant. Borax is an example of crystal, a solid with flat sides and symmetrical shape because uh, its molecules are arranged in a unique repeating pattern. Every crystal has repeating patterns on it. Mm, well, it's in its unique shape. They may be big or little, but they all have the same shape. Salt and sugar epsom salts are examples of crystals. Salt crystals are always cube-shaped, while snow crystals form a six-sided structure. And this was my PBL for chemistry.